Good morning. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy, and we're going to jump right in. Um, in the chapel, we have Palms 127.3. He healeth the broken in heart and bind up their wounds. So we'll get into why I'm just feeling that one, and, and it kind of goes two or three ways. But anyway, um, definitely holding on to the Lord and giving him my heart. Yeah, nervous, scared, doing everything. So, all right, in the basket. So, one of my goals was to get some things done. Um, and I know you guys have seen this, and you're tired of seeing it because I'm tired of doing it. So, I got this one done. Now, this is see all the ends are nice and woven in. Guess what? The other half ain't done. Every time you change yarns and color, you have to weave in the ends. So I have it half woven. <laughs> and there's some on the other side too. So yeah, I have the ends to, wove in, to weave in. Um, I need to block it because of the nor Noro whatever. Yeah, I will tell you right now, I will never judge a yarn by its price first off and second off I will never buy that yarn again um, I told you about the problems of ball winding it and it just fell apart you know pulled apart before I even got it ball wound um, not a yarn that I will ever do anything with I'm sure it has its place but it's not one that I like just saying so um yeah it, it was wasn't hard to work with but man it tried you because if you pull too hard you know just trying to weave in ends you pull things off it yeah it just pulled apart basically that was the biggest problem with it is no twist in certain spots and it pulled apart and then in other spots it had so much twist it was binding together so it is what it is not a yarn I will ever use again thank you to Mary Maxim for allowing me to try it but yeah and, and this is not a bad little thing I like it it's cute it is going in the Christmas stuff um, so yeah it is what it is um, so that one is done and I guess off the hook so that's my first one um, then in the basket, of course, I have my little, I ha still have the geo and I, what it is, is I haven't had a lot of time to really work on it. It's not a mindless knit or a mindless crochet. Um, and I do most of my crocheting in the evening. The den is dark and I have to be able to count stitches and pay attention and not do other things I have to be focused on it so it it's sitting not because of anything other than the conditions when when I'm crocheting it's not conducive to doing it um, if I have time during the day I've worked on it I think I've done maybe one round since you guys saw it last so I'll bring it out and show you next time um, I have a plan for next week's um, podcast and I'll probably break it out then so uh, okay this one is a mindless knit it's just a poncho and it is mindless the purple is done in a full a style and this is just double crochet and I don't know hard to do on camera there we go okay so and it'll be cute uh, maybe um i'm taking the yarn from the two kits this is super soft oh my gosh for acrylic i never thought acrylic would be that way so so far i have and i'm not done i'm in mid round you know this one thing i like about a mindless crochet is i can stop mid round and pick it up not a problem that green and whatever i had to stop at the end of the row 
you know, I, at the geo, I have to stop on the end of the row. So, yeah. Um, mindless knit, I can stop anywhere. I have this much left, and I'm getting ready to start the second ball of the cream. So, uh, where am I at? Right here. And I think I just started this round. Yeah. So, I just started. I've got to go, oops, all the way back to... Goodness. Yeah. Right here. So I only have this one side done on that row, but I've got the rest of it to go. And I'm pretty sure I'll use this up and start another ball. And then the next time I start, I'll start cream. I used a little bit of the cream to finish off like two stitches of the last cream thing. So that's so far as one ball each, and we'll see how far it gets. And then, I don't know if I showed you or just told you, but I started a big square for, of my, uh, just my uh, extras, my ends, my whatever, and I made my puppy pouch. So, what I'm going to do, or what I have done, is I have left this loop here because it's just seamed from here down and across and I can literally pull this out if I want to take it out add on and keep going as he grows so it's a grow pouch and puppy will go in there and we'll talk a little bit about him in a little bit and he'll go in there and he can sit on my lap so I made it this big thinking that he will be about that big and that's my work pouch so that I can move him around you know when he's asleep and so my puppy pouch I did that one um, and got it to a point of using it it's not done because he, if he likes it and he stays in it a lot then he will grow and I will make it bigger for him so those are the things that I've pretty much done finished the one got the other one off um, I think I'm going to take a look at that other pattern, um, this one right here that we're giving away, uh, and I'm going to, um, maybe start it. I don't know. I have found that if I keep one, like the geo, I have to concentrate on that. So when I have time that I'm not doing something else or whatever I can work on that one the one poncho I have going is a mindless knit so it I will always have a mindless knit I used to just do one project from start to finish and don't because then I would never finish them but I've started that kit of the month and um, Mary Maxim I I know I talked about this a little bit before they have switched their computers over and they were running behind getting out the June one and then of course the glitch it sent me two again reappeared and when I talked to them she's like I have tried to catch all of those before they went out and she goes we missed a couple yours being one of them so anyway um uh, she they uh oh <laughs> The kits come once a month, so it encourages me to get those done, but I always seem to have others sitting around. Um, but, yeah, I plan on starting that one just because their next one has already been taken out of my account. I've already paid for it, and it's already on its way. I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't show up today. This is Thursday. I'm a little late recording, but, yeah, and I haven't even started the blue one, so I think I've probably I've got time today. And I'm going to work some on the house, get ready for puppy, and maybe start that one. Or at least look at it and see how, how complicated it is. So, alright. I think that's all I have in the basket. I don't have anything on the wheel. I finished that gray. I hate it. I'll crochet something with it and give it away. Um, it is what it is. You know? Um, I haven't dyed anything which I thought the other day I'm going to 
uh, get to spin in some more of that white stuff because it was fun and just keep some of that on the wheel so that I have stuff in there that I haven't even tried yet so I'm going to start trying some of that all right in the field you guys know my garden flopped so um, it's just a late freeze wind blew over so I'm shopping farmers markets and I will be doing my soaps this winter uh, or this fall or whenever I find something I bought my first um, organic from the garden tomato and I have it in there and I'm gonna puree it and get it ready and get it froze and I've got to find some goat's milk because unfortunately you guys know I'm not where I have goats anymore so there's a little um, that they call it hippie farmer or something and I'm gonna go in there and see if they have any goat's milk and get it frozen in six ounce things so that I can get my soaps going again um let's I have a nail with a hang on it and it's driving me crazy so that's what I'm picking at uh RJ's world okay I know everybody's waiting to hear I'm super excited and I cannot thank you guys on here and Facebook enough so RJ took Coop down to get her stitches out and the gentleman who did the surgery looked at RJ and he said, dang, y'all are doing something right. Well, you and I both know it's because I asked all of y'all to join me in healing, sending mojo and good vibes and prayers and everything to that horse. Um, but he did say that we were doing something right he honestly told RJ, and I don't know that I'm real happy that he said this, but he said, of all the ones I've done, I thought that one would be the one to fall apart. And it didn't. The way he had to stretch, if you remember me talking, um, he had to perforate the skin and stretch it across, and he had to take more than he thought he would. And he ended up nicking a, a corpulary, whatever you call it. And anyway, so it didn't fall apart and Coop is healing much faster because of it. But last week she got the stitches out and um, she didn't get all of them out. He said that he wanted to help it since we worked so hard to keep it together, which we know God did, not us. Um, he wanted to uh, give it a little bit more of a chance. So um, he took the, two, the drain tube out and he took out like every other stitch or so and she goes back one more time to have stitches removed she's now out of the barn and in a run and I'm ecstatic because remember if it fell apart she was gonna have to have it all cut away and everything we'd done was for nothing and she was gonna have to start still healing this big gaping wound for months so that's not gonna happen though not gonna happen it's all whole held he was amazed and yeah I'm excited you know it, it's great to see God's little wonders or miracles uh, happen every day you know and honestly I believe that's because I I ask y'all for prayer and I say, hey, this is what's going on. Join me in sending her healing. And y'all did. And she's doing awesome. Just saying. I love it. Um, so that was a big part of RJ's world. The truck broke down. I don't know if I told you that in the last one. But it didn't break down. There we go. So I told RJ not to go to a certain gas station and get gas because it had vapor locked my car and stuff and vapor locked on the pumps and they were having trouble with it. And I told him, I said, you know, just don't go get fuel from that. And he says, well, it's gas. I'm getting diesel. Yeah. So he got bad gas. We had to have the fuel lines all redone, the fuel filter done, and 
Luckily, we had the engine checked out and it did no damage because RJ refused to drive it when it started acting up. So, that's a good thing. If you ever get bad gas, stop driving it because you won't always drive it out. If there's enough water in there, it'll ruin your engine. So, yeah, he did the right thing. He quit driving it. He called me. I got my car to him. He, I got my car back, I think, Tuesday night, Monday night. I don't remember. It was one night. I think it was a Monday night because it was after work. <laughs> but, and it wasn't last night. So, yeah, Monday night, he brought my car back, went and picked up the truck. And the guy was actually, so it had a little water leak and RJ had been maintaining it. He'd had it to another mechanic to try and figure out where the water was leaking from. The other mechanic couldn't find it. So this guy found it and he says, yeah, I went ahead and fixed your water leak. He said it was just that hose and I was redoing the fuel lines anyway. So, yeah, so the water leak is fixed too. So the truck is running like the wind, doing amazing. Um, Coop is doing good. RJ has been working a little bit. People are starting to call him again for this summer. You know, he lost his job with his uncle. So that was his steady income, but people are back to calling him to work cattle and, and do this, that, and the other. And it's just, you know, starting to pick up a little bit. So he's doing good. Um, I think that's all he's got going on in RJ's world. Star is doing okay. She, uh, I don't know. I, I don't remember how many weeks back, but if you remember, I said she sliced open her leg. Um, it's all healed up. He had to keep it clean and just keep her on the pasture. And But she's back to going. Uh, it, she's not 100% yet, but she's back to going. Um, yeah, he's he's been doing really good. Matter of fact, I sent some cake home with him the day he brought the car. He was happy. <laughs> anyway, all right, in the farmhouse. So, I have... Some stuff. First off, my visit with Krista went amazing. Um, she came here. She didn't. Normally, if she gets upset, she'll thump things and she'll smack the walls. None of that happened. She was super happy the whole time she was here until it came time to leave. And she did okay getting in the car because I don't think she realized it was time to go home. And when I said home, I meant her home. So, when we hit the edge of Bartlesville, she started to cry a little bit. And then, when we turned down her street, she got mad. And so, I got her to the house, got her in, and I loved her and told her, I said, you know, I'll be back, and I'm going to get to see you, not next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. I said, every other Tuesday, twice a month, I'm going to be here. I'm going to come and take you. And uh, I don't think she understands that I'm coming back. Or she's scared I'm not. I don't know which is which. So um, she got a little upset. And I said, okay. I got her in the house. I told Andrea, I said, I'm going to go. And, you know, Krista got up, grabbed my hand, was heading for the door. And I said, honey, you're going to stay here and I'm going to go. But I'm going to come back. And so she got a little upset that I was leaving and, and started acting out, but it'll be okay. She'll get used to it and know that I'm coming back. I think she's just scared I'm not coming back. Remember, she had to go almost two months without seeing me because that's how long it took me to get visitations. Um, I wanted to get my job lined out before I went for visitation, but, and that took about a month. And then once I started getting it, you know, trying to do stuff and running into roadblocks and and being told no yeah so she was here she was happy Ooh. she played puzzle with me and she we made mixed up fish it's a little wooden puzzle i can't wait to have christmas with her um we get to open presents with her we get to do with her she gets to be part of our family do our meal that kind of stuff. So I can't wait. It, it's awesome. So she'll spend the night here Christmas Eve. And then um, she'll open gifts with us. And yep. So that went great. Other than when she went to go home. Of course she didn't want to. And remember she's um, mentally challenged. So she, she does you know 
doesn't always comprehend. She comprehends at a child's capacity. And it is what it is. So, but it was a good thing. It, it's a good thing. I'm super happy with it. Uh, overall, the visit was great. She had fun. We ate tacos and cake and and just sat and, and she took a little snooze. She plays with Hitch. Hitch is so funny because he doesn't know what to think of her. And, you know, she doesn't move like regular. But at one point, she reached down. She just grabbed his face and went, nah, you know, as a kiss. And he stood there and took it. And then she let go. And he just looked at me like, okay. And off he went, you know. Um, I do worry a little bit because he tends to stay more around her feet. Um, makes it hard for her to move sometimes to walk. But... I just watch out for it, you know, tell Hitch, go on, and he does, so, uh, I made sure that he was behind her the whole time, and over time, he's going to get it to stay behind her, and not in front of her feet, so, yeah, it, it was awesome, and she played with Hitch, she loved it, um, on that note, tomorrow, I get to go get my new baby. Yeah. My puppy's gonna be right in here. I am so excited. He's gonna be with me. So, yeah, that's tomorrow. He will be six weeks old. I'm going to pick up... I Sometimes I can't remember what I've talked about in the videos because sometimes I record on Tuesday, sometimes on Thursday. Um, I think I already told you about the puppies that um, my boss ended up taking and yeah and that little woofer my perfectly imperfect little guy and I hate to say it but the more I look at his little face the more I love it um I know it sounds silly but uh let me see here What is not to love about that little face? You know? He's just... And I mean, these are the two that are coming back with me. And they have a 4.30 appointment with the vet. Dr. Gatlin's going to check them all out. But they're just adorable. They, they really are. And so, yeah. I, I'm kind of excited... Uh, so at work, they went and, oh, I probably should have gotten those. Hold on. Let me do something. Okay. I'm back. So, um, I went to work for a vet's office and, um, one of the things that they are super excited is because I'm getting a puppy, you know, and the... Dr. Gatlin that I found the puppy for she was like so what all do you need what do you I think she was looking for a way to thank me and I uh, just needed bowls I needed short bowls because um, the puppy is too tall our big water bowl that was for Hitch and Moose Moose was 12 pounds and he could get in and I have a big deep water bowl and uh, so I said, the only thing I got to go pick up tomorrow is some bowls. Well, Dr. Gatlin was through and she had her kids with her and they were going to get stuff for grandma and grandpa for the new puppy, a carrier and all this stuff. And so I was like, okay, we can do this. Uh, and anyway, I told her, I said, the only thing I need is bowls. So she had her kids with her and she's got this cute little the youngest is a boy and then there's this little girl and she's learning to to write um and she's doing very well so they had asked me what i needed and i said well you know bowls if y'all find any bowls while you're out that's something that can be used so my boss had uh shelby the manager of the uh office had heard me say that and i was like you guys that's all i need i just have to find some bowls so um, Dr. Gatlin leaves. It was her day off and they were just through and they actually brought me, she put a deposit on her puppy 
and she had to bring me the rest of the money so that I could pick it up Friday, and we've got a lot going on. She was off Wednesday. I'm off today. Tomorrow morning, we've got a lot going on at the office. We'll both be there, but she was scared she'd forget, and so the little girl had written the amount that they still owed, and Doxen, D-O-X-E-N. I loved it. It was adorable. I gave her a big hug and I said, thank you for doing that. I, I'm going to label it. And I shoved it in my wallet just like that in that envelope. And she, they leave. And then here comes the little girl back. And she holds up. And this is what they got me. A little bowl with a little stand for the puppy. Um, and... She comes in and, and I was like, that's awesome. And I gave her a hug and I said, Did you pick it up by yourself? And she goes, well, kind of. And so I think she found it, but that is adorable. Um, when the puppy's little, they can sit on the floor. And then as he gets bigger, we raise them up and put this up there. So yeah, that's going to be puppy's um, water bowl and stuff for here. And then I don't know yet because Shelby heard and she was like out looking for some and she found um they gave me a little thing with these two bowls in it and a little toy for the new puppy for the new baby there everyone is excited that we're getting these puppies and I think they're just excited that you know Dr. Gatlin will have one well her mom and dad will have one and I'll have one and they'll be brothers and you know it's just kind of cute but anyway Shelby found these and they're a non-skid and they have a metal bowl that goes in them so that you put the food in you take this out you don't have to wash this but all of it's dishwasher safe too which i don't have a dishwasher but that's okay and and it's got a little three little bones on it so i like the height of that one and i like these and yeah puppy bowls so i'm going to use a set at the office and i'm going to use a set here at the house and yeah it's awesome so and I'm not telling Shelby but when I got home I put the bag down and it had the two bowls and a toy in there Hitch stole the toy out of the bag yeah <laughs> he's already confiscated it and I'm not gonna take it away from him it is what it is it's like having two children and it's one's birthday and the other one doesn't understand so they want presents too <laughs> so it stole the toy that's okay um there's a ton of toys around my house for hitch and he plays with them sometimes some he likes more than others but the puppy will be able to steal anyone and it's bittersweet because I'm not looking for a replacement for Moose. Moose still holds my heart, you know. But there's always room in my heart when God takes something away. He's making room for something more. And let's face it, um, there's a hole in my heart right now for a lap dog. And that doesn't mean I love Moose any worse or any less. I just... Hmm. So I had washed up his blanket and stuff and he has his long weenie dog. It's a purple thing and it squeaks and yeah, or it doesn't squeak it. Roars. Anyway, it makes a different sound and I have not let Hitch play with that one. So that one will be the puppies too. Um, Moose used to take it and hide it. He didn't want anybody else playing with it. So I still have that one for the puppy. Now the truth is it's bigger than the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> puppy moose used to drag it when he was little he just drag it around and he'd hide it in the couch and there's no telling where you'd sit on it and so that one is still there but moose also they, they get them for easter they get them for christmas they get them for their birthdays and hitch i don't know when his birthday is so he just gets them whenever huh hitch he's just looking up at me like mm. So, it, it's been Krista fever, and it, it's just a, a great week. This week has filled my heart, and I got to see Krista, and I'm getting the puppy, and it's just been a busy week, but a good kind of busy. Woo! I have today off, and I am going to work on the walls. I stopped working on the walls because I started working on something else. 
something that I wanted to get done for roommate and I. And you can call us old fashioned, whatever. I don't care. Um, we like to sit out after work. We sit out when it's cool and in the shade and just enjoy outside. So we have been in this house for a year. The end of June is when we moved in here H half heartedly, you know, had stuff here. <laughs> there was boxes everywhere. I say that, but anyway, so roommate and I kind of actually moved in and started this journey and so I wanted to do something for us so that we could sit out and just do what we do and I had found an old swing that I had refurbished and I think I talked about it in an, another podcast well I found a frame online now I was gonna build a frame and wood is so high the four by fours alone just the t the four legs were going to cost me over $120. It was going to be $34 or $32. I can't remember which for each four by four to do the four legs. That doesn't count any cross braces that you need for the thing, you know, the back brace, the top bar didn't count any of that. Didn't count any hardware to hang it, any of that stuff not included in. So it was going to cost me pretty much a mint to make it more than I wanted to spend. So I found one online, just a frame, and I think it looks really good together. Um, it is metal. It came with all the hardware, and it was right at $110 or $112, and that includes shipping and handling. It wasn't astronomical. No, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it fits. It works. I'm happy with it, you know, and if I decide to go back and make one, more power to me. So, but that isn't the only thing that I did and I wanted us to have a spot where you know because we sit out I, in the mornings we sit out there and make our coffee or I do um, well, I wait for Hitch to go bathroom um, I wanted a place to sit where we grill you know we're always moving chairs and I had some chairs out there we had um, roommate had a set of four taller stools and a chair and you'll see them here in a minute and then I had my little bistro set and it worked you know we had seating out there but it was just haphazard so I uh, decided because we had been in the house a year that I was going to to do that for us I didn't tell roommate I just did it um, and so here's a clip now I'm gonna apologize because I'm pretty sure it didn't come out as good as I think it did I haven't watched it but yeah Here's a clip of what I've been working on in the house. So this is what I've been working on around the house. I don't know, this camera may not do good outside, but uh, this was just a square of grass and it was sprayed, chips put down. The swing was refurbished. I worked on it. I don't know if I took a picture and put it up or not, but I worked on it. And then I just bought that frame and then over here I did the same thing uh, it was all grass and we sprayed everything and then I put in two little pots I actually found those concrete looking pots and there's one right here too um, I found them at a garage sale so let me see if I can take this and go over here so this is our little, I guess, seating area. And that's just lavender and sweet potato vine. And then I found this little angel and some stuff. I think it belonged to roommate. And so did the bird. So, yep. And this is my little bistro set. We just put it up on the porch. But it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, and I have my pop-up tent. We had thought about buying an umbrella for this set right here, but the Oklahoma wind has already destroyed the original one, so, um, 
yeah, we decided that the pop-up tent, if we decide to use it, I think 4th of July, we're in a cookout with roommate's parents here. And, uh, yeah. And we'll just put a pop-up tent over it, and that'll create some shade. And there's Hitch. Hitchy boy. Hey, what are you doing? He loves it out here. He likes having his own little space. So, anyway, that is what I've been working on. Okay, so, yeah, it was a lot of work, but it was amazing. I liked it. I had fun doing it, and, yeah, it, it's going to be easy to maintain. We're just going to spray Roundup on anything that, any weeds that come through. I Roundup everything, so it, it's pretty much dead. We've got, a, like, one spot that the crabgrass, I don't know if I just missed it when I was spraying, but it looks discolored, like it started to die out, and then it just decided, hmm, Roundup, yummy. I don't know. <laughs> and it started growing through anyway. So um, we're just going to spray that. And that's the only maintenance that we have. And, and roommate and I were talking. And I said, you know, even if we, even if the chips like sink down into the ground and start decaying away or whatever, or biodegrading, we go and get a couple more bags of mulch and just put them down. That's it spray anything that comes through and then maybe once or twice a, a not a year I, I think it'll last we figure every other year we'll spruce it up put some fresh chips down I don't know how fast those that mulch will decay away so yeah I like it roommate likes it we um so roommates parents are coming back over for 4th of July and we're going to barbecue out again and it is also I don't know if I've mentioned 4th of July is roommate's birthday so yeah it kind of is one of those things and I am going to uh, there's some mutual friends that's how we met you know so mutual friends kind of are responsible for our friendship so I'm going to invite those same mutual friends over. We're going to do a cookout. Roommate's mom knows, and she's going to help me see, sneak stuff. I'll have food down in her freezers and stuff, and we're just going to do a, a barbecue. And I'm going to use my pop-up and put over that square for shade. Now, at night or in the evening, about probably by 5 o'clock, four, maybe 4 o'clock, that whole thing is shaded by the garage. So, in the mornings, it's not really hot out there, but in the evenings, it's hot, but then with the shade, it's not so bad. So, we always sit out there. I mean, it's just what we do. Just sit back, that going outside and sitting back and enjoying the outdoor, we do it every day. We Okay, so I got home from work. I didn't really feel like cooking, and really, really didn't feel like cooking. So, we went to a Mexican place, grabbed some food. And even after we did that, we came home and sat outside. I, I don't know why. It's just what we do. And so, yeah, we're already using it. We're loving it. And it's just what we do. It's all I can say. So it's a spot that we like. We sit and talk about our days. We gripe about things. We just, you know, it's just our meeting area so um it's nothing this morning i had coffee out there sometimes we're having wine out there um hitch even likes it he oh he left me um he likes to sit in the mornings he'll go out and go potty and that's what i'm out there for and so but i still sit there for a few minutes and he does the same. But he'll come and sit at my feet um he will come and lay in the uh, in the area that we've created in that which uh, underneath that green table while roommate and I sit there and yak and you know and he has a whole yard but he'll come and lay in those and I didn't put a whole lot of money into it the most expensive thing was the frame I think there's 40 bucks in chips out there in the, the mulch um, there is 
I don't know, the Roundup we had here. Uh, the, the pots, I got all those at garage sales. I think there's still a $1 sticker. I keep thinking I'm going to go out there and take that sticker off. But I got the rest of those at garage sales. And the soil that's in them, I had left over from doing the grow tower. So, yeah, it wasn't really expensive to do, but I wanted to make it look nice. And we both agree, roommate and I, that it does look nice and we like it. So, like I said, the pop-up, um, we're going to use it for shade. And we're going to try it all out the 4th of July and have some... Uh, have roommates parents over have some friends of ours over and just kind of have a barbecue of our own so yeah it's just one of those things last year was the first year that you know because RJ rode rodeos on 4th of July and it's an adjustment to change um we didn't really when, when the kids were little and we weren't doing that and he was ice skating we had a big 4th of July party and set off fireworks and made homemade ice cream and all of that. And last year was the first year we were here. There was boxes everywhere. We did have roommates, parents over, but RJ was on the road. My daughter was with her family or her in-laws family. And I did make homemade ice cream, but it was just kind of roommates, family and us and we grilled out we had fun i mean but it's also roommate's birthday so that's why roommate's parents are here so i mean that's only fair to them but this year i'm kind of surprising roommate and just gonna invite some friends over too uh and go from there yeah just have a little get together and use our new space and yeah so i think that is really all that i have going on um, today I'm off. I am going to, tomorrow I go get puppy. I get off in the afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so, um, I get, I'm going to go in and I think I'm going to sand on the walls and get them done. And then the first thing I will be painting is the ceiling and then the walls. And when I do the living room ceiling, I will also be doing the kitchen ceiling. So those two things will get done, but I've got to go and get some supplies to do all of that. But that's the next step. Um, I'm going to get everything sanded, cleaned up. Cause here's my thought. Um, I've got a new puppy coming home. I don't want new puppy inhaling all that dust. So I'm going to sand, clean it all up today and be done with the dusty part. Um, let him get a little bit bigger before he has to inhale stuff that we're working on around here. Just saying. So, anyway, I am super excited. Um, next week, I have a special podcast planned. Um, and I also will do the giveaway. And I want to say thank you to everyone who left comments supporting the giveaways and supporting, you know, what I do here. It's amazing to see some of the people. I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Yeah, you have been here. It, it's amazing to see that the same people are here, even though they don't comment all the time. So, yeah. And we do threaten to turn off the comments when RJ was little a lot. So, we don't really care if there's comments or not we, we've never gauged the success or failure of this channel by is there a ton of comments just haven't worried about it I do this because number one it tracks my crochet and number two we started it with his blog so that people couldn't that couldn't read his blog and he has since quit blogging that was you have to remember that was his high school um, English class and it was his middle school in high school Sorry, I'm getting a text. I don't know. Okay. Um, it was his high school and middle school English class. It was part of his homeschooling. And he did good. So, but he has since stopped doing that. Um, he just, as an adult, he's run out of time. But I kind of like the podcast thing. 
and I like being able to track what goes on. And it's just kind of, someday, RJ, 20 years from now, may go back and watch some of these and go, hey, that was a good week, or hey, that was, I don't know, maybe I'll watch them in my old age. Maybe I'll be watching my own channel. I don't know. <laughs> but it is cool to see the old um, memories. They're all memories. And it's all things that we've done over the years. So, yeah. But it's great that you guys are with us. I I am super happy with the support. Thank you. Um, I do have a plan for that. And I'm, I'm thinking I got it under control. So next week, we will see the winners. So I'm going to get off here. And I'm going to go get those walls done. And, oh, I got to do the laundry too. Yeah, and dishes. But that's easy. And then I'm going to get to sand on the walls and get it done. And I will talk to y'all next week. Bye.